Set builder notation is a wonderful way for us to capture patterns in sets and describe them elegantly. So I'm just going to give you one example of something in set builder notation so that you can see the language and, and have, um, have an experience. And we'll, we'll be looking at a lot of these later on. So let's imagine we've got a bunch of numbers and let's let's just say that our numbers are 3 5 7 9 and you guessed it 11 so let's say this is a set and we'll call this set A well instead of writing out all those numbers we might realize oh there there's actually a pattern going on here right they're they're increasing by 2 so how could we write this? There are a lot of different ways in which you could write this, but one way is we could say that set A is equals, so a set that contains, um, and so now we're going to capture this in an equation. So we're going to say it's a set of all x values, and then we always put this straight line down. Uh, and that straight line means, so we're saying, it's a set of all x values the straight line means such that so now we're going to give a condition and what's our condition well our condition is that well x is following this linear relationship with a slope of 2 so we could write this equation as 2m plus 1. Now th there are infinite ways in which we could have expressed uh, this equation, but the idea here is you know, it needs to have a slope of 2 because we're incrementing by 2. And so we put plus 1y uh, because then when we, when we let m start at 1 and we're going to let m start at 1 which is a natural number so the natural numbers start at 1 so we're going to rely on our special sets so x is defined as 2m plus 1 and what we want to show is that or, or set as a restriction is that m is contained in either the natural numbers or we could put the integers so I'm going to put m is contained in the natural numbers and, and the and is like a big carrot and M is less than 6. So, the fact that it's contained in the natural numbers means that M is either 1, 2, 3, all the way up to infinity. But this restriction says that M can only go up to 6. So, that restricts us to 1, 2, 3, four, five, well, less than six, so we're, we're done there. And these are the m values which we're putting in to our equation, which outputs my x values as such. So there you go. That's an example of set builder notation. Uh, it looks more confusing than it is. We'll spend time wrestling with these.